Raspberry Pi OS Bullseye is now available, but without any major change in the interface, except the wallpaper. So, in this video, I'll give you an overview of the most interesting desktop environment available. Raspberry Pi OS use Pixel by default. It's a simple interface, even minimalist. Built with beginners and young students in mind, but not the most beautiful interface. Another desktop environment you can try is Mate. Mate is the closest one to Pixel. You'll find minor changes, like the main menu split in three parts, applications, places, and system. The default appearance is even less appealing than Pixel, but you can customize it easily. In my previous video, I tested Cinnamon, which is a great option for beginners too. The main menu is at the bottom left of your screen, as on Windows. You have shortcuts to your favorite applications, and the other ones sorted by categories. Gnome is one of the most popular desktop environment, the one used by Ubuntu by default. I don't really like this interface, but if you are looking for something modern, or if you are used to it on your computer, that's a great choice. But my favorite, if I should only judge the interface, would be KDE. With the main menu in the bottom left of the screen, KDE is built with Windows users in mind. You'll quickly get used to it. It's a modern interface, with nice features like search engines everywhere to do your tasks faster. Each desktop environment has a different way to handle the system configuration. Most of them have a tool, more or less well done, to configure everything. On Pixel, you already know that most of the configuration can be done in the Raspberry Pi configuration tool. But not everything is listed here, like the screen display that has another tool, or some advanced configuration that you can only do with Raspberry config. Not the best experience for beginners. Mate has an app named Control Center which seem more modern than the tool on Pixel, but it's not so great. It's just a page with shortcut to other apps that will show up each time you want to configure something. It's a bit messy, I think. Also, there is a search engine, but it's only searching on the tool's names, so it's not that useful. On Cinnamon, it's pretty similar. You have one tool for each main change you can do. In my last video, I told you that the theme configuration is really impressive. In a few clicks, you can install and enable a new theme for your interface. On KDE, you have one tool for everything. There are categories and subcategories to quickly find what you are looking for. There is also a search engine that really works. I'm not sure if it's intuitive enough for beginners though, there are maybe too many options in this tool, a bit overwhelming. The best one in my opinion is the settings manager in Gano. If you already used Ubuntu, you won't be lost, but even if it's your first time on Gunno, it's easy to use. I find it more intuitive than the one on KDE, but both are excellent. I haven't done any benchmark or test to see which desktop environment performs the best related to performances. But I can give you my first impressions after testing all of them. Pixel, Mate and maybe Cinnamon would be the best options if you have an old Raspberry Pi model and worry about performances. KDE and especially Gnome are more heavy, so a Raspberry Pi 4 is recommended. I test it with a Raspberry Pi 4, with 4GB RAM. The only environment where I notice slowness is Gnome. The other ones work fine, even KDE is okay.
Just a quick word now about the default apps that come with each environment. I know it's temporary, and you can then install or uninstall anything. But let's take one minute to compare what they include by default. Pixel has everything you need. A package manager, Chromium and the most useful apps are already pre-installed, even on the desktop version, without the recommended software. Mate comes with almost nothing by default. Only a bunch of accessories, but no web browser or even package manager. So, you'll have to use the terminal to install what you need by using the apt command. KDE comes with a neat package manager. But unfortunately, nothing work. I don't know if it's me, a temporary bug with the servers or whatever, but it doesn't seem to work at all on Raspberry Pi. So, you'll probably need to install Synaptic to manage your packages, or use APT. Then you can install anything you want, like Chromium or whatever. By the way, another major issue on KDE is that the default browser is still Conqueror. But it doesn't work at all. Probably something is missing in the default installation, but it's not a great experience. Gnome comes with almost nothing, but you're lucky there is a terminal. So you can install Synaptic and manage your packages with it, like with Mate. No default browser, media player or office suite, so you need to install everything manually. To create this video, I installed Raspberry Pi OS Lite on 5 SD card and then install the desktop environment manually. The procedure will be the same for each desktop environment, you just need to install a different package for each one. Here are the commands you can try, you'll find more details in the article linked in the description if needed. You can also install another desktop environment if you are already on Pixel, there is just an additional command to use to tell the system which environment to start on boot. Check the article for more details about this. If you are watching this video to find the absolute best desktop environment for Raspberry Pi, you won't find the answer here. I can only share the pros and cons of each one, to help you make a choice. If I had to use my Raspberry Pi as my main computer today, I would probably go for KDE. The interface is modern with a good look and search engines everywhere, and it's not too slow, so it should be a good fit. Cinnamon is pretty good too, and will come shortly after KDE. For beginners, I recommend staying with Pixel as it's the best choice for performances, compatibility and also because most tutorials will guide you in this interface, not with another one. I hope this video was useful anyway, let me know your choice in the comments.